Alright guys, so here we're going to do um, skill 6 we're going to start with. Sorry, I'm a little sick. Okay, so complex number operations, right? I want you guys to know the different operations that you can perform with complex numbers. Um, the biggest thing that you have to know is that I squared is negative 1. That's like a key feature that I would put on a note card if I didn't know that because we're going to be using that definition a lot. So the first one, it just says multiply. We have negative 8 plus 9i times 5 minus 4i, right? So the big hint there is multiply. That's going to be a double distributed property. That's going to be negative 40. Um, negative 8 times negative 4 is positive 32i. I'm going to switch colors here. 9 times 5, well, that's 45i. And then 9 times negative 4, that's negative 36i squared. All right, i times i is i squared. Now you have a couple different options. I'm going to go ahead and combine like terms first. So I'm going to have negative 40. I believe that's plus 77i minus 36i squared. Now, it may look like we're done, but I gave you guys a hint in the directions. Write your answer in standard form, which is a plus bi. Your final answer should never have i squared in it, okay? Because i squared is negative 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug negative 1 in for i squared. So we're going to have negative 40 plus 77i minus 36 times negative 1. Okay, now negative 40 plus 77i, negative 36 times a negative 1. That just makes it a positive 36. All right, again, I can combine like terms. Negative 40 plus 36, well, that's going to give me negative 4 plus 77i, and that would be my final answer, all right? And I wrote it as a plus bi. You want to make sure, I know it's a little weird because normally with variables you put them first, right, like 3x plus 2, but with i's, it's standard notation to put them second. All right, so that's your first one. The next one, I want you guys to know how to multiply when it's a quantity squared. Negative 11 plus 2i quantity squared. Well, anything squared is you're just multiplying it by itself twice. So you can't just distribute that 2 in there because you're going to miss a middle term. All right, so then it's the same thing here, double distributive property. That's going to be 121 minus 22i. Switch colors again, minus another 22i and then plus 4i squared, all right? So same thing, you wanna be careful here, right? Those do not cancel out. You got 121 minus 44i plus 4i squared. Again, it kinda of looks like we're done, but you need to be substituting in i squared equals negative one. So you got plus four times a negative one, which gives you 121 minus 44i minus four. Again, our last step is to combine these like terms. Um, so your final answer, 121 minus 4, I mean, is 117 minus 44i. I mean, and that would be your final answer there. All right, last one, subtract. This one, really, you're just subtracting two um, complex numbers. So here you can pretend that's a negative 1 and just distribute it. So you got negative 11 minus 12i, just drop the parentheses. Negative 1 times negative 3 is a positive 3, and then you have minus 11i, I forgot to draw that right there. Um, same thing here, you can combine some like terms. I'm going to combine multiple like terms at the same time. That would be what, negative 8, and then uh, I don't have a different color really. Um, negative 12i minus another 11i, well that would be negative 23i, I feel like I did that wrong. No, I think it's good. Um, yeah, so that would be your final answer is negative 8 minus 23i. Yep, so that's um, different operations to do with complex numbers.